What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Instant Pot Duo Evo Plus. And welcome to another online pressure cooker recipe for newbies. And today we're going to make some pulled chicken. So this is what I got. I think I got this from Sam's. These are frozen chicken breasts. Of course I got some baby rays. I'm going to finish that. I usually use my apple wood rub, but you know, we're going to show some sweet and smoky grill mates uh, rub some love. I'm going to finish off this um, pink salt, black pepper, garlic little mix there. I got some uh, all the uh, chicken broth, it's low sodium. Let's get started. So guys, I got four chicken breasts, about average in thickness. So we're going to do this for 12 minutes under pressure. And then we'll do a um, 20 minute natural release. Um, if you have real thick chicken breasts, I would do 15 and 15. If they're not frozen, you'll do those times without a natural release. So if these weren't frozen, I would just do it for 12 minutes, period. And they'll be ready to, sh to be shredded. All right, guys, I got one cup of chicken broth going in there. You could do a cup and a half if you want. I'm going to add my chicken breasts, again from frozen, right in there. And again, we can stack them on each other, it does not matter. It doesn't necessarily have to be submerged in water or anything like that. Um, it's going to cook just fine. Oh yeah. Now some of you are going to be like, Doug, why didn't you season it? No, you don't need to, when you're, when you're doing pulled chicken or pulled pork, um, I, in my travels, I don't feel I need to season them now. I'd rather just cook them, shred them, then add my seasonings. It comes out fantastic and it just saves time. All right. Let's go ahead and get our clothes. All right, real quick, we'll do pressure. And like I said, we'll do, we're going to do 12 minutes. So let me get that going. 12 minutes and we're going to do a 20 minute natural release like I said. All right. And guys, of course, make sure your valve is on seal and all that good stuff so it can come to pressure. This particular pressure cooker automatically puts it on seal once it's closed because this pressure cooker is pin black. I have a link in the description if you want to check it out. But this is the best pressure standalone pressure cooker that you can buy in 2019-2020. And if you're really rocking with me, you get these uh, XO measuring cups. I'll put a link in the description. There's different sizes. This is a four cup. This is a two cup. I mostly use the two cups, though. Oh, and what's the big deal about these measuring cups? Um, instead of looking on the side, you can see what you're measuring when it's faced just like this. So I can pour my whatever in there, and I can see my measurement looking at it, looking at it just like this instead of this and that's pimp we got some all these buns in the house you never try these buns try it dot it's not even bomb.com it's the bomb.org i'm gonna use up the rest of this red onion y'all y'all know i love red onion so just sitting in my refrigerator for like two days so i'll get rid of it add some extra flavor to it pressure guys I'll be back in 12 minutes and again we're going to do a 20 minute natural release after that you can actually do 15 minutes but just to be safe I would just do a 20 minute natural release and 20 minutes is usually lets all the pressure out so it's basically just letting the whole pressure just release and to you newbies that didn't know when the when the uh whenever your timer stops the pressure is coming out slowly, even if you don't release it. So if you just walked away and didn't do anything after the 12 minutes, after the tw after 20 to 25 minutes, the pressure would release on its own. All right, guys, we should be finishing up anytime now. There we go. And so at this point, guys, you can do either 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I'm just going to do 20 minutes so that I know for sure that when I put my forks in, they're shredding nice and easy. All 
Alright guys, it should be hitting 20 minutes any second now. And when it hits it, we're just going to hit cancel because we don't want to even keep it on, keep warm. We just hit cancel and release whatever pressure is left, which should be none. Let's see. Nothing. Okay. So as you can see they shrunk a little so if you're cooking for more than one person go ahead and load it up with at least six or seven if you got a family heck throw 10 or 12 in there but anyway I want to show you how easy it is to shred this it just comes right off so yeah it's just that simple guys so to my meal preppers out there, now you can put this in a Tupperware and you can start just thinking of different things you're going to make. If one day it could be a pulled barbecue sandwich. The next day it could be a uh, taco chicken taco Tuesday or whatever. Um, next day it could be maybe a chicken salad. You know, next day, who knows? It's just endless. Because right here, I can season it one day, one way, season it another day, another way. It's just all up to you. Go ahead and pour this broth into a measuring cup and just put it aside. We're not going to use all of it, but we are going to use some of it. What I love about this pressure cooker, it has these little rubber handles, so it's never hot. So you can, and they have them on both sides, of course. So you can just pick it up with ease, no matter how hot it gets. All right, guys, I'm going to put it on saute mode. Throw my onions in there, let that sweat a little bit. Got my Evo sprayer. I'm gonna spray some avocado oil in there. Let that heat up for about three minutes. All right, let's get our onions in there. Go ahead and mix that around a little bit. Smelling fantastic. About 30 seconds that went by. I'm gonna add a little bit of my broth that I poured in my measuring cup. All right, I'm gonna turn off the uh, Instant Pot, Get off of saute mode. Now I'm just gonna add my pulled chicken. And you wanna add, you wanna add just enough broth to keep it, to keep it juicy. You don't wanna add too much. So I don't wanna give you a amount because I don't know how much chicken you're putting in there. So you're just gonna have to eyeball that. You can actually put your chicken in first and then add the broth so you can see. Cause look, I might have to add a little bit more. So yeah, that might be wise. So just add the broth after you add the chicken and a little bit at a time and just start mixing it around. And after this, we're gonna go ahead. Yeah, this is, this is juicy enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in my seasonings. All right, first, we're gonna finish this off. And don't worry, I have another bottle because I stay with these. I, I try and buy like three a month off of Amazon so I don't run out. <laughs> I usually use, I definitely use one. All right, is that a mix? Cool. Now we're gonna add some of this. And to my subscribers, if you got Applewood Smoke and you don't have this, you can use that as well. I just wanna give this some love too. All right, go ahead and give that a mix. Oh yeah, it is starting to smell fantastic, guys. Oh yeah, that's smelling good. And finally, guys, just gonna add some sweet baby rays in there. Or your favorite barbecue sauce. I know some of you are anti baby ray, but that's that ain't me. That's all I roll with. For me, it's either sweet baby rays or my low carb sugar free barbecue. And just to have some fun with my subscribers and viewers that you know watch my channel real quick. What hot sauce should I use? Should I use red hot, extra hot? 
should I use? Jamaican Choice Scotch Bonnet. Should I use Old Bay Hot Sauce? Or should I use this trough? I think I'm going to use the trough. I'm going to put a couple of dabs in there. That's my latest hot sauce. So, <clears throat> I like this hot I wouldn't say this is my favorite, but I like this because it has a little afterbite. Like, it hits you. has a sweetness to it, and it, then it has a little bite about five to six seconds after. I like that. All right. Baby Ray time. And I have more. <clears throat> I just want to finish this bottle. All right, got my other bottle of Baby Rays out. I'll just mix this to make sure if I need any or no. Yeah, I could use a little more. Oh man, this smells good, y'all. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna add some more. That should be good. Now see guys, that is perfect for one person. Or just two people for just a lunch. Perfect. Introducing the June oven, guys. The only oven that I know with a camera on the top that can recognize your food. See? Burger buns. And it'll automatically know the time for me. See? Two minutes. Start toasting. It also allows me to view it through my phone. This is the June cookbook, but if I hit oven, go here, and then I hit live view boom look at that they come out perfect every time oh y'all yeah, caught me in a good mood today all right i got some japanese mayo i'm gonna put on there on the bottom and by the way shout out to uh jamaican choice for sending me this they don't sell this but um one of the guys I'm working with there, he just felt I need to use this in my videos. And it's good. It's like a sweet mayo. It's good if you haven't tried it. Now, when I have this tomorrow for lunch, I'm going to add some Kobe Jack cheese. I ain't going to do it to y'all today. But I told you, y'all caught me on a good day because my subscribers know I don't like pickles. But my spider senses told me it just wouldn't be right if I ain't add no pickles to this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. I have a feeling today I'm going to like it. All right, guys, let's add some of this pulled chicken. It's smelling so good. Mm -mm -mm. Load it up. Man, this smells good. I cannot wait to have a bite. Just for fun, guys, I'm going to add some more baby rays to it. Wouldn't be North Carolina if I didn't put some slow on the top. Oh, man. Oh, man. for you and finally guys I got some Duke's mail I'm just gonna put that on the top real quick it's time to eat you take a bite first you got it That's good. Get the edge. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Man, I'm telling you, this is too good. 
It's just too good. Mm. I devoured that whole sandwich, y'all. I was like, bump the video. I'm eating this whole sandwich and then enjoying it. <laughs> the first time this year I had to do that. But anyway, I just put some more on there just to show y'all because I'm going to wrap up this video. Then give you some of this leftover macaroni and cheese. I took this out the freezer. This was in my deep freezer, so I don't even know how long ago I made this, but it was vacuum sealed. Have a bite. Mm hmm Good. Anywho, page 13 is complete on my online pressure cooker cookbook for newbies. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely try it for you and your family. And again, it does not have to be a sandwich. It could be um, tacos, burritos, um, a side for rice with, you know, on top of rice. Whatever, whatever you got. Try it. They'll love it. If you have an Instant Pot or any pressure cooker, I'm talking about a Ninja Foodie, um, a Go Wise, a Go Mia, whatever you got. I'd love for you to join my pressure cooker group. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. We'd love to see what you're pressure cooking. And if you need some, you know, some recipes, do a search in the group and get some recipes. Guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. That's all I got. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.